Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is pushing back against growing international calls for a ceasefire, saying Israel's battle to crush Gaza's ruling Hamas militants will continue. In an interview with U.S. broadcaster NBC News, Netanyahu said Israel has been committed to protecting civilians and civilian deaths should be placed squarely in the responsibility of Hamas for keeping its military installations inside hospitals, its command posts inside hospitals, inside schools, inside. UNWRA, UN facilities. Health officials and people trapped inside Gaza's largest hospital are rejecting Israel's claims that it is helping babies and others evacuate, saying fighting continues just outside the facility where incubators lay idle without electricity and critical supplies are running out. Israel says some people have been evacuated from Shifa Hospital. People sheltering in the hospital say they're afraid to go outside. Israel has said Hamas is headquartered there. Even if that is the case, does that justify jeopardizing the lives of sick people and babies, Mr. Prime Minister? No, on the contrary, we offered actually uh, last night to give them uh, enough fuel to operate the hospital, operate the incubators and so on, because we have, we have obviously no battle with patients or with civilians at all. Uh, and I think every civilian death, every dead baby is a tragedy. But that tragedy should be placed squarely and the responsibility of Hamas, that is, keeping its military installations inside hospitals, its command posts inside hospitals, inside schools, inside uh, UNRWA, UN facilities, and so on. How close are you to reaching a deal to get more of the hostages out? Well, Kirsten, I can say that we weren't close at all until we started the ground operation. In fact, we, we heard that there was an impending deal of this kind or of that kind, and then we learned that it was all hokum. It was nothing. But the minute we started the ground operation, things began to change. So is there a potential the deal, pressure, Mr. Prime Minister? Is there a potential there, deal? There could, there could be, but I think the less I say about it, the more I'll increase the chances that it materializes. And it's a result of pressure, military pressure. All over the world, you've seen protesters who are calling for an end to civilian deaths in Gaza. Can you win this war without global support? We will win this war because we have no other choice. There's no life for us, there's no future for us and our neighbors if we allow the axis of terror led by Iran, Hezbollah, Hamas, the Houthis, and their minions to dominate. We have an alliance for peace on the other side. It includes Israel, the United States, the moderate Arab states, and the rest of the civilized world. How many civilian deaths are you willing to bear in order to achieve your ultimate goal of eradicating Hamas. If I had my way, no civilians would be killed. If Israel had its way and our calls would be heeded, they'll all be out of harm's way. And in fact, I'm saying this uh, luckily now, uh, unfortunately, uh, hundreds of thousands have moved out of harm's way, heeding our calls and uh, overcoming uh, Hamas's uh, threats at them at gunpoint not to you, leave the zone. Do you of know how many civilians have I, been I think, killed, uh, Mr. Prime Minister? Do you know how many civilians have been killed? Do you have an accounting of the number? I wouldn't trust the Hamas numbers. When you say Gazan officials, that's Hamas officials. What's that's your what number? What's ISIS your number? It, it's lower than theirs. And what is most important, Kirsten, is that we see a, a steady decline in the number of civilian deaths as we, uh, our ground action proceeds. And the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights said just this morning that while Hamas has committed war crimes, the collective punishment by Israel of Palestinian civilians amounts also to a war crime. I can say that what the uh, commissioner said is hogwash because we're, the, the main difference is are you deliberately targeting civilians? No, we're deliberately doing everything, everything in our power to target the terrorists and the civilians as happens in every legitimate war, are sometimes what are called collateral damage. And you say that Israel will control Gaza for as long as is needed. Are you saying that Israel would reoccupy Gaza? And what do you say to those who say there should be an international force that governs Gaza after the war? Well, I think Gaza has to uh, uh, make sure that we uh, it's not a threat to Israel. We said destroy Hamas, uh, and uh, for that, if we uh, want to have peace, we have to destroy Hamas. This is what Israel uh, must do, and this is what Israel will do. Do you bear any responsibility for missing the attack? Well, I've said that after the war, there will be a thorough investigation, and everybody will have to answer some very tough questions, including myself. Do you but bear right responsibility? Now we're focused on one thing. Do you bear we some all bear responsibility? responsibility. Okay. We all bear responsibility. Look, we're no, nobody's going to evade responsibility. It's, it's, it's a non-issue.